Good morning, good morning, hello, and welcome back. Uh, today's video, I'm going to the reacting to the James Hoffman just dropped a, a, a video, I think yesterday or this morning. I th yeah, hold on a second here. I think, uh, yeah, uh, he dropped a video about a couple hours ago. So I'm going to be reacting to it. So he made a video about fellow old Gen 2. The fact is I have it right here, okay? And also, he wasn't comparing with... Uh, the SSP, the multi-purpose birds as well. So, you know what? So I've been watching it, man, extremely positive, okay, coming from um, James Hopkins. So I, I thought I was pretty surprised by how much James liked the fellow oh, Gen 2. Fact is, I've been using uh, Gen 2 for the last couple of months now, and you know what I have to say, okay? For the price of a 325, the revised, uh, the ver uh, second generation burst, 64 millimeter flapper. I'm quite, okay, quite happy with uh, the fellow OGEN2, okay. So, hold on a second here. Uh, the fellow OGEN2. So I'm going to pull some, the kind of like highlight of, so James did a, a compare O2, Gen2 burst, okay, original burst versus the SSP, okay. So here is the, his reaction to it. Hold on. Let me flip the camera. So here we go. Similar. Yes, the SSP produced less fines. Not a huge amount less fines, but you, you can see there is a difference there in the finer particles. Slightly more uniformity generally, but really pretty close. Those SSP burrs sell for $185 on Fellow's website, and I'm not sure that for most people in the world, those $105 are well spent. These $80 burrs perform, I think, really very well. It's clear that Nate and the team at Fellow put in a lot of time to get this whole thing right, and I think okay. it was time well spent. Now we need to talk about the UX kind of piece of it. Kind of like, uh, again, I mean, you heard from James as well, because for his point of view, the spending $185, because you can get the burrs, I mean, burrs is, is about $85. Okay, let's put it that way. So. You can, if you have a Gen 1, okay, you can upgrade your Gen 2 bird for about 85. And then uh, if you want to go with the SSP and P birds, you are looking at 185. Uh, what, what, uh, what James trying to say is, it's not, okay, it's not for most of us. We are talking about pretty much 99% of us out there. It's not worth upgrading to SSP, the multi-purpose birds. I'm, I'm curious about that, okay, because the fact is since we have both here, okay? I have uh, Gen 2, and also I have SSP MP burst right next to each other. So, so let's make some coffee with it. And by the way, if you're just joining us for the first time, uh, welcome to live streaming, okay? So this channel, uh, we usually do, most times I like to do comparison, okay? I like to do more comparison because I mean, that's fun, okay? So I, I think I put against one versus the other, okay? So, because it co comes to coffee, it's very subjective. Some, uh, some of you loves the bitter coffee. Some of you loves brightness, the sweet coffee, less body, more body, it's all different. But, but at least I'm gonna show you the MP versus Gen 2 verse. At least I'm gonna give you some, kind of, some kind of baseline, okay? even though your taste is not the same as mine, but same time, okay, but same time, I can give you some little bit of insight on that. So hopefully, uh, let's validate, okay, what James is thinking about it. So according to James, okay, from his video, I've been watching it uh, in-depthly uh, last couple of hours to kind of like study what he's trying to say. And, you know, he loves it, okay? He loves it, the, the Gen 2 birds, and he thinks that it's not that significant, okay? It's not that significant. So, you know what? Let's find out, okay? Let's find out. So today, I'm gonna be using coffee from black and white. So this is more like, I'm more like medium to light roast there. Great tasting notes, okay? Uh, orange liquid, lead sangria, and cocoa. So very bright, sweet. So it's gonna be a pretty good match. So I have, I'm gonna be using origami. I have a two origami set up here. So uh, comes to water temperature, I'm gonna set at 96, 
kind of like boiling temperature. And let's, yeah, let's brew it. Let's brew some coffee here. And then let's talk about it after. I'm going to be using 13 gram dose. And also we talk, uh, J also James also talked about the static. I'm just going to clean inside for a quick second here, okay. So you're going to see before and after. So there's no whole lot of static here. I'm not going to use my RDT. I'm just going to go straight up. That's it, pretty quick. Okay. Again, there's no static. Uh, so they, they do kind of like the anti-static, kind of the same technology as the hair dryer, okay, the blow dryer there. All right, so again, very nice. Okay, so let's uh, check out the, uh, so I'm using the DF64. I'm using the DF64. Uh, that one comes with, just make sure there's no static, starting. So this one has MP bars. Okay. So SSV MP. So let's find out. Comes the noise, uh, pretty quiet. Uh, not a whole lot of static either. Okay, works pretty good as well. So I mean both DF64 and Fella Ode. Uh, static, it's not a, I say it's not an issue. Let's put it that way. All right. Uh, we're gonna do origami recipe here. I'm just gonna do a standard recipe. I'm just gonna wet some paper. Again, if you're just joining us, we are reacting to the James Hopman's the video this morning, fellow old Gen 2. All right, so this is the SSPMP. About 13 gram right there going in. I know James was uh, complaining about the, this uh, shape. I mean, I can see why he doesn't like it. I mean, for me, I mean, that's not an issue. Okay, I don't mind, all right. You, you know, just do a couple more times to flip it around. Yeah, that's fine. The fact is, if you're gonna, if you're going, to, if you are going to start nitpicky about anything, you are going to find something. I'm just gonna. It's a very simple recipe, folks. I'm gonna start with the 35 grams to bloom. And I'm gonna wait about 35 gram. I'm gonna go hit it at 200 gram right away. Okay. Just gonna go hit it. That's it. Again.
very simple recipe. Usually it takes about maybe a minute and 30, 40 seconds. Very repeatable. It's about a minute and 30 seconds there. Okay, for second brew, about the same time. It's about a minute and 30 second brew time. All right, let's find out. I wonder, I wonder I can tell the difference. All right. All right. The minute and 30 seconds, I know some of you are thinking it's fast. I think that's what I prefer. Minute 30 and minute and 40, okay? I think that's the, I feel like that's the, bring out the best, the sweetness, give it a well-balanced, okay, well-balanced coffee. I know some of you likes to go like 2.30 to like three minutes, man. I, mean, I, I try both ways. Uh, like beyond like 2.30 or so, I feel like the coffee is a little, I don't know. It's, it's not as exciting as the, the faster brew. I know some of you out there, I mean, you guys know I really enjoy, okay? I really enjoy the fast brew, but all right. So let's try. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna start with Fella O Gen 2, folks. Here you go, cheers. So this is the old Gen 2, okay, okay, sweet, man, all right, oh, very nice after, aftertaste as well, wow, that's good, that's fantastic. So this is the MP burst, cheers. Okay, a little sweeter, cleaner, clean and, s okay, hold on. Let's go back to Gen 2. Okay, let's go back to Gen 2, hold on, here we go. Man, this is tough, this is tough. Okay. Man. Let's go back to the MP. But you know, I, I, mean, I, I wish you guys are here, okay? I wish some of you guys are here so you guys get to experience what I'm experiencing right now. Because I know you have to take my word for it, all right? There are two different coffee, okay? I'm not saying one is better than others, two different, all right? Is a, is a cleaner. Uh, DK, I'm gonna bring Sal, hopefully I'm gonna bring Sal in soon, okay? I mean, he been, he been busy at work, so. SSP is a lot cleaner, cleaner. But I feel like the Gen 2 Old Burst, hold on, let's go back here. It's a little bit more, Exciting, let's put it that way. Man. The fact is I like both. So here's a big question, okay? I mean, so, so this is a bigger question. Is it worth it spending $185, all right? Is that worth uh, spending $185 to upgrade to Fella, you know, for the SSP burst. I mean that. I mean that's the big question, right? Uh, if you go to uh, if you go to their websites, okay, I'm on their website right now. Hold on. I'm gonna click their gear here. Let 
Okay, hold on a second here. I'm trying to get the, the price on it. Okay. I want, do you have to pay extra for that or it's going to be 85 minus? Yeah, I want is 85 minus the 185. Yeah. Hold on. Uh, uh, we have Aaron, if you're still out there, Aaron, have you compared with your Gen 2 versus MP? Yeah, let me know what do you think about it. Okay. All right. Uh, let me know. Let me know your thoughts on the live chat. Okay, if you are still there. Okay. Uh, uh, is that worth it? The blink say is that is that worth it? My answer is nah. nah. I don't think I don't think it's. I mean, most of us out there. Okay, most of us. All right. Mo, uh, most of us are spending one eighty five on SSP on just to brew alone. Uh, not worth it. Okay, for my opinion. Again, that's one person's opinion. All right, but but uh, if you are doing both espresso and filter coffee, answer is yes. Okay, answer is definitely yes. But if you are if you have a fellow O right now, it doesn't matter if you have Gen One or Gen Two. You can always get the Gen Two birds for uh, eighty-five bucks. Okay, you can always get the uh, bird for eighty-five dollars. And spending 185 on SSP just to brew alone, uh, I don't think so. Okay, if I were you to stay with a Gen 2 birds, I think it's gonna be just fine. So coffee's been cooled down for the last couple of minutes. Let's try one more time. Okay, so so coffee is cooled down, and you're gonna see uh, different tasting notes. Okay. Okay. Okay, let's go back to MP. Yeah, cleaner. Okay. So coffee is cool, which means you are going to experience more acidic as well. And this point, uh, they have a, some uh, some kind of lingering aftertaste. It's not bad, but with the SSP, the multi purpose spurs, I mean, they're they're clean. Yeah, it's definitely cleaner aftertaste, uh, more satisfying. But again, when coffee is hot, it's hard to tell, okay? But when coffee is getting cool, um, you are going to see the, 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 you are going to see more notice difference. But let's face it, guys. I never drink my coffee warm, okay? I usually drink my coffee kind of like, you know, in a hot, to kind of like nuke warm, and that's I'm done. Okay, I don't, I don't wait till this cool down. So, I mean, for me, that's not a non-issue. Okay, that's non-issue. So, having said that, again, okay, comes to brew. If you are thinking about uh, upgrading to MP, if you have a Gen 2 right now, if you have a Gen 2, upgrading to SSP, if I were you, save that money. Okay, save, save that money to you know, invest money on your espresso grinder. I mean, that's my recommendation. Okay. Okay, so coffee with the games. Are you comparing the grinders for pour over uh, versus the, um, we are right now comparing the Gen 2 fellow O Gen 2 versus uh, uh, MP burst from SSP. Okay. Oh, uh, ice coffee drinker. Interesting. Hold on. We have an ice coffee drinker. You know what? That's not a bad idea. Hold on. Okay, I do have ice maker here. Hold on a second here. So uh, let's make some iced coffee with the same coffee right now. So let's see. Okay, let's see what's the difference is. Hold on a second. Okay, I, ju I just got some ice. Okay, I just got some ice there. 
so again, so this is not a exact, so this is not my ice coffee recipe, but you know, you're gonna get the idea. Okay, I'm just gonna put some, put some ice coffee, put some water in the, coffee in the ice. So this is the uh, Gen 2. Oh yeah. With the ice, bring out the, all the acidic. Okay. So MP burst. There we go. Mm -hmm. So here's the thing, guys. The uh, MP burst give you a really clean, clean cup taste. Okay, very clean. It's quite pleasant. But the MP burst give you that the dynamic range. They give you that up and down. So I think if you are, if you like very clean coffee, like good clean uh, Ethiopia perhaps, very light roast, the MP burst should be fantastic. Okay. And then, but if you are using like a little funky process, like natural or anaerobic process, if you want to taste some, you know, from little nuance, like Gen 2, okay, that bring out the, the highs and lows as well, give you a little bit more fine. The fines give you the highs and low, okay. So, you know what, I mean, but again, is that worth $185 spending extra. My, I don't know, my initial, my initial thought is no, okay? Especially if you are doing the brew coffee only. We are talking about brew coffee because I know a lot of people out there that modify Gen 2 or Gen 1 trying to, you know, you can grind espresso, but that's not made for that, okay? The Gen 2 or Gen 1, it's not made for espresso. So, I mean, just to brew coffee, spending 185 MP burst. Unless, okay, unless coffee is your hobby. If you're a coffee hobbyist, you love light roast, clean cup, maybe, okay? Maybe that's worth it. But 99% of us out there, you know what? Nah, just, just stay with it, okay? Stay with the Gen 2. I mean, I don't think it's not game changer enough to be upgrading it. So uh, let me know, okay, let me know what you guys think about it, all right? Because Gen 2 is like what, 3, 325 or 345? Yeah, 325, yeah, 345, okay? If you're gonna add another SSP on it, the price went up to 500. If you're talking about $500 grinder, there's a lot of grinders out there and also coming out. They can do both espresso and filter, okay? So anyway, I hope uh, this video helps. And I'm gonna see you guys next time, okay?